Today we're going to show you how to install the custom recovery and custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Centura, courtesy of AndroidArea51.com. First you need to make sure we have an SD card installed on your phone. You also need the Samsung drivers installed on your PC. Along with that, we're going to need the Odin and the TAR files, which you can get from Android Area 51. Let's begin this. With the phone off, power and volume down at the same time and hold it. When it vibrates you first, you can release power only. When it lights, you can release your volume button. You notice we get a warning. We want to, we want to continue up with the power button up so that we can install the custom recovery. Once we have this, we go ahead and plug the phone into the USB. And then we can find the Odin that we downloaded. We should be Odin 3.07. And click on the exec file and grant it permission. Close the rest of these out of the way so that we can see what we're doing here. Once we have that, and if you have the drivers installed and everything else correct, you'll see a clump with blue or a yellow box with a number in it. You want to uncheck the auto reboot box and then go to the PDA box and click on that and find the Centura Clockwork Mode tire file that we downloaded earlier along with the Odin. Click on that and it will place it in the PDA box for you. Hit the start button, sit back and relax a few minutes while it installs. Once it's finished, you'll either have a pass or a reset. Once that's done, you go ahead and close the open box out and unplug the phone from the USB. Now that we have that, we can hold the volume and power up at the same time. When it vibrates, release power only. Continue holding your volume up. When you see the Samsung logo, you can let go of your volume up button now. You should have area run fiber recovery at the very top of it. If you do, you've made it. If not, we messed up somewhere. Let's scroll down using the power volume down button to where it says backup and restore. Hit the power button. Hit the power button again after backup is lit. And let back the phone up. This will take a little while to do, so be patient with it. In the meantime, while this is back, I know if you haven't already downloaded a ROM, now is the time to have it downloaded, so it'll be ready when you get through with your install of your recovery system. We're almost finished.
now that we have that, we can hit the return button, bottom right hand corner, and hit the power button after reboot system now is highlighted. And we're going to let it fully reboot. I already have a custom ROM installed on the phone, so it'll be a little different after you reboot yours. Yours will still be stopped until we install a custom ROM. Once it's booted up, you can go ahead and plug your USB cable back into it. Once your phone is booted back up, you want to go to settings. And down down to developer options, you want to make sure USB debug and allow mock locations is checked. Once that's done, you'll get a pop-up on your phone. Auto play button so we can open device to view files. Once we have that, we need to go to what? Once we have that, we need to go to SD card. We need to find the ROM that we downloaded earlier, which would be ARC 2.0 for me, which I already have installed on the phone. You can just drag and drop that onto the phone and let it install on that SD card. Once that's installed there, you can hold the volume and the power button up. This will allow us to boot back into recovery mode where we can install the ROM. Once it vibrates once, release power only. Continue holding the volume up. When the Samsung comes out, you can release the volume button. Now you want to go scroll down and install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button, and scroll down to where you found your ARC, whether it be 1.1, 1.0, whichever one you downloaded, and hit the power button. Scroll down to yes, hit power again, and let it install. This will take a little while, be patient. And over at Android Area 51, there's five different ROMs for this tutorial, along with a number of different themes and boot animations and shutdown animations that you can install on this tutorial the same way we're installing the ROM now. Almost there, not quite. Now once we get there, hit your return button, go back to where it says White Data Factory Reset, power button, down to where it says yes, delete all user data. Don't worry, it's not going to erase your phone. It's just wiping out the stock items so they don't get confused and mixed up with your custom ROM items. And once you have that complete, you can go ahead and hit your power button to where it says reboot system now. You may unplug your phone. And give it time to install. It will take a while on your fresh install. It has to rewrite everything back into the phone. Mine has already had the custom ROM installed on it once. So it won't take as long to load as yours will again. But just be patient with it.
yours may say Android is upgrading when it first starts up. Mine won't. I'm working on a custom Jelly Bean ROM for this Centauri at this time, so mine's not showing what yours will actually show. But once yours reboots, you'll have to log back into uh, Google again for your account to restore whatever apps for your email and contacts that you had on the phone prior to installing the custom ROM on it. And there we go. Just sign back into your Google account and you're all set to go. Have any problems, stop by Android Area 51. Any one of the staff members will be more than glad to help you out with the problem.